Okay, I'm going to show you how to bake textures from two halves onto a single object. So we've got here an ammonite and we've got three things all in exactly the same place. I've got a reduced model here that is significantly fewer triangles. And I've got here two halves, a top and a bottom. Now they all need to be in exactly the same world space. So I'm going to put those back. Now we need to UV map our reduced object. So we select that and we do smart UV project. Off we go. It doesn't actually take that long here. I'm going to create a new image. This is in the image editor. And I'm going to give it a UV grid. And we'll call this all mesh text. We'll set it to 2048, you can set it to whatever you want, click OK. All right, so we've got a checker grid with some dots in it. i reduced, go to base color, change that to an image texture, and then change the image texture to whole mesh. And if we just hide top and bottom, you can see we've got that checker pattern distributed over the ammonite. Okay, so now what we can do is we make those visible, we select them in order, holding control, so reduced is the last one we select. We go to our render settings and we go down to bake. This will only be here if you're using uh, CUDA uh, or some others. It will appear here if you're using uh, optics, which I tend to use sometimes. We are going to bake just the diffuse and I'm going to turn off direct and indirect. We don't want any lighting, we just want the colour. I give it a little bit of ray distance here, uh, that tends to help sometimes, and then hit bake. And you'll see we've got a progress bar down here. Ignore this error, it doesn't tend to do anything. <clears throat> uh, so this is texture baking now from one mesh, either bottom or top, not clear which, presumably it matters which order I selected them in. And it's reasonably quick. Um, they're very high resolution meshes we're baking from, and so that's why this is taking a little bit of time. There we go, there's one. And now the other one's baking. And at the moment, we still can't see anything changing. Don't, obviously don't move anything while it's doing this. Uh, basically what it's doing is it's projecting the colours from the original meshes onto the new one. And there we go. And you can see how that's all distributed on the texture. And if I hide top and bottom, you can see we've got a lovely mesh that's fully textured. This is also how you would uh, bake normal maps, for instance. You would set up a normal map and so on, uh, and then come here and bake from one to the other, from your high resolution geometry to your low resolution geometry. Okay.